feel like this is like really. Olivia, awkward. watch some water, ah! please. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pull the table in closer? I don't know. <laughs> That's so me. Move the mic. There you go. Is that good? You know when your heart sinks and you can see something happening in slow motion, and then you're just but like, I don't see yeah. anything because I'd have let that fall. You would have let it go over and then we'd have had to start clearing up. Oh my God, right. Yeah, no, not I good. think that might be the conversation you started already, to be fair. You can try to spill a glass of water everywhere. It's not the usual setup, and hey, it's like... an excuse for the new carpets that you yeah, wanted. Yeah, and then no yeah. drawing on my new carpets. I don't know how you're going to get the position of You have to like I've been drawing like Super Mario like carpets and colouring dinosaurs or something no. it's like little circles for the tripods that's it and the chairs yeah to make sure everything's in so place yeah. on my place. carpets yeah. why do you need a draw on the carpet well it's just because where the where the tripods are you got a, a good figure of where the always are oh my god you've actually got a pen dot for every yeah. leg yeah yeah wow so when that's i take them level. off cream carpets on, on my cream carpet could you have not used a bit of tape I said that, and they're like, we don't have any tape. We haven't got time. Could have, we could have done. Look at it. We could have done, but, but you're But in. I've got an idea, Ben. I've just got to draw on the carpet you're with a sharpie. In, you? <laughs> you're all in, type of guy. Literally, black literally. Yeah. yeah, that is it. Brilliant. Um, so that's it, guys. Welcome back to the Swingle Podcast. I'm Gage. I'm Olivia. And we've got some special guests here today. Some say. These guests are the trucker babes of the industry. Trucker babes. Trucker <laughs> babes. Trucker babies. They actually did a feature on Open House Season 2 towards the end as well. So guys, please welcome Ben and Nicole. Hi. Which camera are we looking at? You can look at any camera. You can look at any camera you want. You don't even have to look at a camera. Okay. It's fine. I'm like... Yeah, yeah. Right never... people. <laughs> no, we're, we're excited to be on here. I mean, like we've watched um, quite a few of your podcasts. Have you seen season one? I haven't watched all of them. Fuck's sake, Ben. You're not a hardcore <laughs> podcaster. No, but I, to be fair, I did start watching them a few last week. And yeah, they're really good. This oh, is not like thanks. a usual podcast setup. It's more of a conversation. Yeah. And yeah. then we always go into it like you're like, I'm not prepared. I'm like. You always go into them. Never prepared. Yeah, never prepared, are we? <laughs> never no. prepared. Yeah, season whatsoever. one, we do it like half past eleven on the night on a Saturday because we're like, shit, we've got a podcast to go out tomorrow. <laughs> so we're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. We need to. Uh, get and then it we'd out. sit on these chairs and be like, right, what we're we talking about now? Um, oh no, you go. Have you got an idea? No, I'm like, I right, just scrolling through Instagram <laughs> just to make sure if there's anything there. If there's any like, questions, yeah. But yeah. Like, this is not about us, Olivia. This is not about this us. This is not about the swing of up today. Nobody, nobody wants no. to know about us. Everybody knows everybody everything knows about story. us now. Every... These are already famous now. Everyone knows about us. I'm, I'm interested. The swing hub's up there. Fab's now down there. <laughs> See ya. But you guys actually got a good story. I feel like I'm leaning over. Let me just bring this closer. See, you're going to knock the water over now, yeah, aren't what's you? this? If you knock the water there, that's, that's expensive. You've... Yeah, you've got a vodcaster. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, no, it's all good. Hey, 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 I got it covered. Back to what I was saying. What were I saying? You guys have got a story anyway. But I want to take it all the way back. Okay. <laughs> when did you first meet? How old were you? Oh, I was 20, 19? You were 20, 19. 19. Yeah, yeah. So I was 19 and I was in the army. And I'd only been split up from my ex for about six months. And then one of my friends got me on tinder of all places you met on tinder uh, yeah. So like, yeah we met on tinder who's sending to whose dms are right so i sent him to his dms <laughs> but yeah. you he you were the only person i'd messaged on there and you know when you become, we're you, match. You become yeah you become a match i forgot it's that long ago <laughs> so we became a match and i didn't hear anything and then like three days had gone by i just had so many dms like, Mate, I, was gonna <laughs> say that, but I couldn't cope i bet you were too busy slinging your dick about i was too <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think, like, because he was the only person I'd actually took an interest to, I was just waiting and waiting for a message, but nothing. And I thought, I can't let this one slide. So I messaged you first. You did. Um, did you double message? Did I what? Double message. No. Like, did you send a message and you go, oh, fuck face, why have you not messaged me back? <laughs> no. No, just a no, single like, replied. Yeah. He replied, and then he thought it would be funny, because obviously you get to know each other on, on this app and... He'd asked me how tall I was for some reason. Then I'd asked him how tall he was. 
<laughs> and he said like five foot three or something. Yeah, I got him under. And that was it. Like, I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't when, be with someone smaller than me because I'm uh, a tall girl anyway. That was the day we were supposed to meet as well, weren't it? That was that day. Yes. And I said, <laughs> I said oh, by the way, yeah, I was I'm ready to shut it all three. down. Right. <laughs> I was like, the I conversation can't. just changed from there on in. <laughs> it was like, like, it's obviously a big factor. But big up a... all the short kings out there, though, right? Yeah. Because, you know. Well, I'm they a are tall girl. Too. You are a tall girl. I'm extremely you're like, tall. How tall are you? You're like five. Five eleven. Five eleven. Yeah. And then going out with a five foot three. Could you imagine <laughs> that? So yeah, it changed everything. I was like, mm. can't. luckily I'm just five eleven. So it so works. you just kind of ma- we're the same height. You know, as so long as she's got heels. a small <laughs> heel on. Is that why you have to wear? You have to wear like a heel shoe then? Do you? I have to wear a Cuban heel. He's got heel. wedges. Yeah. In his <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, no, when, the, when the like big chunky trainers came into fashion, you were yeah, like, yeah. get in, yeah. like, yeah. I'm winning Max. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pumping it up some more. A couple of inches. <laughs> got, six foot. got wedges in his shoes, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So we, did you meet up then, or did you kind of... Did you... So the, the funny thing is, when we first met, so I went over to her, where she was in the army, where she was based, over to her house. I had to book him on the camp and everything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, the guard, the the guard room I had to go and get a photo took in the guard room. And I just like, and they're like, who, who you yeah. there to see? And I was like, oh, God. And then... Um, the thing, the thing is, the guard room knew why you were there. You're yeah. like, and I'm the like, day. probably I'm like, he's gonna get some fucking pussy out of me. I love you all on Facebook going, "Who's this Nicole? Who's Nicole? Who's Nicole?" <laughs> yeah, I bet does they anybody were. know her? Does anybody know her? Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Yeah. But, but that day, I, I had two cars at the time, and I'd I'd got this old like vintage BMW, like a classic BMW M5, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna be flashing going that. Mm. I went in that car and then when I left really late that night, I went out and it had a it had a it had a really bad habit of sometimes the battery would go flat. <laughs> right. And I, I went out, I remember walking out to it and everything just felt real slow motion because she was watching me at the door and I'm just walking to this car like waving a I'm go. like you would better start now. <laughs> and I went in, put the key in and it just went Oof. <laughs> like, oh, that's it. oh my god, god. you're like, battery. I'm stuck on camp. Oh and my I, god. I, I just looked at her, I was like, Have you got some jump leads? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Yeah. So she had to get the jump start. <laughs> like, no, I just, oh. had to get the jump leads out and get this car going. And, and it was love at first sight. <laughs> yeah. That was it. But it was, it was funny because I think when we'd agreed to meet, obviously I said on camp because I felt safer there. And I, I kind of felt like he wasn't going to turn up because I thought, why is someone like him going to come and meet me? <laughs> so I wasn't expecting him to turn up. So when he did, I saw him pull up outside and I was just like, shit, he's here. So I was quite a big drinker back then. So I literally, before I even answered the door, I reached for this bottle of vodka on top of my fridge. And I think I'd necked half the bottle just in a one. Pure nerves. <laughs> I was like, right, okay, open the door and then... Obviously, we sat there, I had some wine on the go, and we were chatting for hours. And I could feel myself slurring, and the slurring was getting worse and worse and worse. Mm, it was. But he didn't <laughs> say anything until two years later. And he just turned around one day and he went, you know that first night we met? We were pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember like, talking to her on the sofa. <laughs> And I remember thinking she was slurring and her eyes were all glazed over and I was like, oh my God. I just think good. I overdone it on the nerve drink. Yeah. I, I was only meant to be a bit, but I, it was just too much. So how, how long did you do in the army then? Seven years. Seven years. It's a long time, isn't it? Not we've long got, enough. We, we've got something in common, haven't we? we? I used to be in the army, you used to be in the army. Yeah. And what we'll, did you do again? I was Royal Signals. Royal Signals. That yeah. was it. Yeah. So what, you, what did you do? <laughs> is your bike still on? Is it falling off? It's still on. Is it still on or is it hidden behind? Oh, that's hiding. it. Hiding. All right, that's cool. Hiding. Just you put it on a flap. Hey! <laughs> Will be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Such a filthy mind. <laughs> well. And on, did you call Ben, like, obviously, with Nicole being in the air? Because did you go away while you were together as well? Or? Not for no. long. I think the most you went away for was a couple of weeks. It was just courses and stuff that yeah. I went away on. Yeah. Um, but I'll, no... I think, yeah, to be fair, I did find it difficult at the start because obviously when she did go away, it was all like, it's just with a group of blokes, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> and I, like at the beginning, you know, 
I was young as well, so it was it was difficult for me. Um, but I think that's what's helped me develop. Like now, like you do only fans and stuff. Like, and I literally don't get jealous anymore. And I think that's where my journey started of like becoming not a jealous person mm. and the trust in the, and the trust yeah. and and yeah it just it's just grown from there really i All think right. I what think, did you do then so what did you do for work well i was just working uh, builders merchants oh yeah yeah literally just um on the on tool and plant hire All right just, you know hiring out diggers and tools and delivering <laughs> them and stuff like that yeah oh, that's fair so nothing nothing <laughs> to <laughs> that's it no. and what year did you leave nicole the end of 2017. Oh, mm. I was still in then, Wala. Yeah, you were still in. Yeah? Yeah. I was medically discharged because right. I was a mental nutcase. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Just fighting guys in pubs and stuff. <laughs> she put my window through in my car. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Let me get some tea. <laughs> yeah. Bang the fuck up. Let me some rewind. Okay, two minutes. Two Everything's minutes. Oh. Come out in Everything. <laughs> Welcome back to season two, guys. Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> Right, Every, wait a minute. Everything's coming out of this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's get some tea. Let's just rewind the fuck back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. First of all, nice bomb. You just dropped that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. take us back. Was this a little this... pay thing that grew or Do you know what? it was it was it was <laughs> my works do. <laughs> right. <laughs> She was on antidepressants at the time, wasn't you? I was a mental nutcase. <laughs> was it, yeah, or was it sertraline? I was on sertraline, which you're yeah. not supposed to drink on. You should on. not drink on sertraline. But fuck it, why not? <laughs> and yeah, I said to her, I was like, look, because I just started this job and it, it meant a lot to me at the time. I was like, look, don't get pissed. <laughs> she got pissed. Right. It was free wine. So how, how long did you get it? Free free wine. Wine. it was free. It was free. Yeah, get a mark if it's free. It don't count, right? Don't yeah. get you drunk. You can't. And how long were you two together when this happened? Not even two years, was no. it? You've had some time though. You built a foundation. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah. you got on this free wine, which yeah. doesn't count because it's free. Exactly. Yeah, girl math. <laughs> what happened? So basically, we got in the car to go home and. She's, I didn't want to go home. She didn't want to go home. She was like starting getting all crazy. Were and you I was the party like, pooper? You were the party pooper. Was, yeah. <laughs> he was ready to go home. We'd we'd got invited to someone's house for like an after party after this works do, which is I, I was obviously all game for. I ain't interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> he said we'd go. So we got in the car for him to then he basically just tried to get me in the car. So when I got in the car, that was when he was like, yeah, we're going home. So obviously I kicked up a big shit storm. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going home. And then just started um, from there, but she got crazy. Like, just a whack on his window, gone. Yeah. <laughs> was she like, probably in the chest? No. And then... And it's that way you knew that she was... She was, was the one. <laughs> Do you know what? I've never seen a punch like that in my life. <laughs> That evening was like make or break. I was like, do I want to... It would only run the police on me. Oh, she was being crazy. How could you ring the police on a call no. for breaking your cow window? No. So the worst on, part, mate. that's not even the worst part <laughs> of that night. So the worst part was obviously I'd smashed his window. He had to pull up at the side of this road. I then got out the car, still going mad. And I was flagging other cars down, telling these people in the car, I didn't know fault. him. Didn't know him. He was trying to get me in his car. I'm having to explain to these so people. <laughs> don't listen to her. It's my girlfriend. She's just being crazy. Like, and they're looking at me like, I don't know who to believe. <laughs> so yeah, I was a mental nutcase. Um, and it wasn't until your dad and stepmom arrived at the scene. I, I literally thought I either I ring the myself. police <laughs> or I ring my dad. Because I literally didn't know what to do with her. Dad's was... fixed everything up. <laughs> dad's a I was like, dad, yeah. Nicole's Please going crazy. Help. You're going to have to get here now. And he come he come down with my stepmom and he they I ran away. You I ran yeah. across some field. Oh. But it was a dead end. So yeah. they caught me. And finally got you home <laughs> it, like safe. And then tomorrow, the next day you're like, what happened? Yeah, I kind of looked out the window because we actually babe. stayed. It. Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, love you. Love you. <laughs> love you. We had to stay at his dad's that night. So obviously I'd walk up at his dad's, looked out the window, saw the smashed car, and I was like Shit. Do you what know what? Done? Good on you both, though, for like realizing and talking about it. Because <laughs> a lot of people, it's why we're on the carpet, like it never happened. Yeah. yeah. You, I think you kind of we'll laugh about it now. Yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah. That's what sucks for me and I'll only just does. start laughing about it. <laughs> you know. you just <laughs> a couple of days ago I still didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> We're Maybe. putting it out to the world now. <laughs> Everybody knows. So yeah. how long have you two actually been together now? Almost nine nine yeah. years That's next a long year. Time. Yeah. Are you engaged, yeah. married? Where We're we engaged. We're engaged. Yeah. yeah. Come on, babe. What the fuck's going yeah. on, bro? Well, Joe what? It was so sweet as well. Worry. I we got engaged because I do want to marry her. But But it came out of the window. Oh, what? I can't <laughs> But we don't want to get married until we're literally in millionaires. A, in a, probably in a, <laughs> <laughs> But I'll, you know, I have got visions of a wedding, and we want a country I, wedding. I know what wedding she wants. You know, it'll be a country wedding. Haystacks, lorries, stuff, trucks, trucks, cowgirl boots, yeah, hats. Yeah. All the men are going to be dressed as cowboys. I don't know how I'd contain myself. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Do you mean <clears throat> cowboy boots? You bought me. Yeah. But I'd uh, never ever wear. Yeah, Gage's got a very cowboy boot. Really? Do you want me to go off show you? Yes. Right, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> so you're having a cowboy wedding. Yes. Cowboy wedding. And so that's why you had to love. hit the millie. Yes, because it probably... <laughs> Cost a millie. It will either be expensive or not expensive, because we could use hay bales as chairs. But you couldn't well, pull all this... But then you've got so many friends now in, like, all different In aspects. the country yeah. style. In the country style. Look oh, at that. Look at those. Get them on gauge. Are they from the cowboy shop? They are from a cowboy shop. Right, so wait a minute. I've got a story. Don't Please. touch them yet. Wait a minute. Um, so <laughs> Liv bought me these back because she said every guy needs a pair of cowboy boots and every guy has a pair. Have you got a pair? I haven't. Oh, right. I well, you were like, no. no, I didn't. It was a pure every man does. girl back again because it was buy a pair, get two free. So... There Everyone you go. watching the video on YouTube. Um, these are my cowboy boots, but they don't go with anything like in the UK style. No. <laughs> so unless you've got a Texas, I might wear them. You need but a checkered now... button shirt yeah. with your jeans. Do you reckon? Yeah. Are these hot? Would you buy me in these, Nicole? Yeah, if you were wearing the right clobber. And I, the right mean, clobber? Yeah, not my trackies and like a hoodie. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Cowboy so hat. Something they go with them jeans. Some, some darker yeah. jeans, maybe. Yeah, dad jeans. Look, look, I don't know. Because the thing is, look, look who made them. I know, I just noticed <laughs> the name. <laughs> same same. Yeah. Hard to buy them. Yeah. It was meant to be. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll bang these on now for you, my cowboy boots. Oh, don't, because oh, I might calm start getting down. moist. Moist. <laughs> 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 yeah. It could work, couldn't it? I don't know. So, so you know I'm a big fan of Crocs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. big Croc man. Um, I don't know if you know, but since oh I've started God, playing no, Crocs, I saw them. now cowboy you've some, Crocs. You've got some running Crocs. I've got some running Crocs, but Crocs are bringing out cowboy boots as well. Oh. Are you joking? Well, the stock prices. You're of not Crocs... coming to me wedding in Croc cowboy boots. You can't come in. He's got resorted to those boots for uh, our wedding. Yeah. These were purpose. They bought for your wedding. We already knew I love this. That. Can I feel them? <laughs> have you got cowgirl boots? That's I a have, nice yeah. leather. They were my, they were my buy one, what's get two free. Nine. Oh, amazing. Oh, these are, what size are these? A 12. 12. There you go. Well, come on, mate. Is that what size foot you are? <laughs> yeah, it's not true. Yeah. Where have you led? It's not true. Is it? Is it not true? <laughs> no, no, no. It stinks, and that's about it. There we go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're too big. Nice yeah. boots, aren't they? They're huge. Yeah, that's what she said. Size 12 feet. <laughs> God. Yes, I've got some cowboy boots. So, so whenever you're yeah. ready to, to, uh, get married. to get married, we're all yeah. so I am Definitely. absolutely ready. Look, can you next time you go with you, give me a cowboy hat, please. Cowboy hat? Yeah. And a gun. <laughs> a gun as well. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in. All a, plastic, in. a plastic toy gun. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so I was speaking to a friend, I, I can't remember, a few weeks ago, and... I just had a random thought that morning about... Because I, I have been thinking, like, lately you know, about us getting married. And Love like you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And I, I did think to myself, we've got like two different sets of friends now. Mm. We've got like yeah. swinger friends and we've got like, an all, obviously everyone knows what we I do. I think we've got more swinger friends than we have yeah. normal friends. Have you, yeah. uh, so did you hear about what happened at one of our friends' birthday parties? No. Up in Manchester. The swingers turned the non-swingers into swingers. No, it is. <laughs> it, was, it was the case of that the swinger friends were there to have a good time. But you know how people are in the lifestyle. They're very yeah. open-minded and just kind of a little partying. Yeah. The non-lifestyle people didn't like it. And most of the family walked out. <laughs> so this is what I was thinking. Uh, 
<laughs> I was thinking we're going to have a lot of swingers there. I know. And we're going to have family there. But oh. I'm happy for everyone to just go do, and Do your family and... know that you're in the lifestyle? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so there's no everyone. issue then, is there's there? There's no issue. But I just think it would be absolutely hilarious. I would like... <laughs> because yeah. I think it would be hilarious on our wedding day if, like, people... Like our family see you guys arrive together and then see you necking on with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> they like, absolutely. I, I thought there were like two what? separate invitations, and I thought you were gonna send one no, out to your no, family I'm, going, I'm, I'm "This is what's it. happening," and then one out to your swinger friends no. going, "Just to let you know, you are invited, but you have to be on your best behaviour." No, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> just, just, just I just want to throw it all into the mix and see what happens. Yeah, but just to confirm for all the audio listeners and all that good stuff, we um, as people in lifestyle are not animals, are we? We can conduct <laughs> ourselves properly. I don't know. <laughs> No, we, we can, we can, we can. So if you think about going to the lifestyle, don't worry. The events are like yeah. mega, mega. Unless you want them to be. Unless, then... you, unless Ben says, unless ben yes, says, this is what I want at my wedding. <laughs> yes. so... Yeah, but even if it's people you know, like that have come to your wedding, even if it did get mad, I'm the kind of person I'd be like, can I just check your certs first? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then you see your family members getting involved and mixing with the swingers. You're like, oh, what the oh, God. Oh, you yeah. be okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, what if you saw me speaking to you, Mom? <laughs> I'd knock you out. And then, and, then, and then she was like, I am you. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to mix a pie, guys. I mean, you could have them cowboy boots on, so it could exactly. happen. It could happen, couldn't it? Yeah. Just so, anything could happen. So, but at what point did he get to where you both had this conversation of getting into the lifestyle? So, actually, we watched the first season of Open House with Jess and Mike in it. Yeah. yeah. And as we were sat there watching it, we were on separate sofas, as we do. Yeah. Um, and I just turned around to him. And I just said, would you ever try anything like that? Inside, I was shitting myself. Like, you know when you think you want to ask something and but it comes out loud? Yeah. You're like, I've asked you just it ask now. It in yeah. your head. Yeah. You're like, I, don't, I didn't expect that to come yeah, out. Yeah, and... but he just, he, he nodded. He just went, yeah? And I was <gasps> like, oh, okay. Oh. And then that was it, end of the conversation. And then... Did you not overthink, though, when he was like, yeah, and you was like, well, why does he want to sleep with other women? Well, am I not good enough? Did you no, have that? I you don't think I'm that, not like that. Are you not asking? I just... Yeah. Because I knew in my head I'd want to try. Yeah. And then for him to say yes as well, I was like, fucking hell. But I just left <laughs> it at that, didn't say anything, just carried on watching it. And then it was about three days later, we were in town on one Saturday morning, just having a coffee, we had no plans, and he turned around and he was like... There's an event on at Vanilla. Well, so a bit of a backstory, right? <laughs> so, take it back. <laughs> take it back. So, obviously, I was a lorry driver at the time, and we I used to drive past Vanilla Alternative oh, most yeah. days. And me and my mate Tom, we used to always, like, wonder what... I wonder what happens in there. Yeah. Like, we're so intrigued. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, it's a swingers club. And not all the drivers are the same. Like, God, you just, oh, we're just going by VA. Like... Because it is literally just, right on the A1 yeah. if anybody's not being yeah. it. It's literally yeah. you drive past it and it's a massive sign outside yeah. it, isn't and it? And it was always intriguing. And and, and then obviously... It was like an ice cream parlour or something. <laughs> so obviously knew what it was. she had asked me, like, and we'd spoke about it and stuff like that, like opening up. And, and then I'd followed them on socials and stuff, been on their website. And then I was like, look, there's an event on tonight. Should we just go? And we were literally sat in a coffee shop that day with no plans for the evening and we just went yeah all right we went home got ready we booked ourselves <laughs> in and we just went there and it was the most nerve-wracking thing it, is, okay, it. Like, it was hot yourself, olivia like... couldn't get out of the car first time we, we went to we, didn't. Yeah. we <laughs> were watching everyone like, around, I'm like, oh, <laughs> especially because like you're like who's going to be turning up there you're like trying to watch oh, people yeah. like you well, see who's going in i think obviously for anyone that hasn't done it all you've heard is hear about it yeah. you assume it's just going to be old people mm. so obviously we sat in the car watching everyone go in where i was like oh they're not my type they're not my type they're yeah. a bit old and then we saw some young people go in and i was like there's a young couple there's another young couple they look normal <laughs> they're nice um but yeah, we sat in the car for a good 15, 20 minutes and then 
went to the door and to make it even worse they said have you ever been here before and i was like no quietly and he shouts some more he's like we've got newbies here. <laughs> and i was like oh my god so i've been back in the alley fresh me fresh me over here That's it. literally he shouted it to everyone in the queue we've got newbies here can but you show them around i'll just say like they were so welcoming mm. they 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 showed us around they were they explained you know the rules and what to expect and the, that there's no pressure. They really did like put a, you know, yeah, put yeah, a, yeah. That really, really good. Yeah. yeah. So I'd recommend, you know, that club to go to as a first. So time. you went to the club, yeah. you tour. Yeah. Did you do anything that night or were you just drinks and just, did you speak to anyone? Yeah. We, we spoke, spoke to, people. to people. Like we spoke to quite a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and obviously, as the night goes on, everyone starts going into the rooms and into the pool rooms. And as we were walking around, I think when I looked into the pool room, because there's those big beds. Oh, the hot tub, yeah. yeah. Um, it was full. I've never seen, I'd never seen anything like it. There was just bodies everywhere. The pool was full of people having sex everywhere. In the pool, <laughs> and there was floaters and stuff. Did, uh... I couldn't believe it. Did you, I was going to say, did you get turned on? But <laughs> you said that was. That's it. Did you, you get when, 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 did, you, did your balls walk out when you see it? Oh, it's, it's mad and it's mad. Like, yeah. Like, did you get turned on by it? Not the. I, I don't know if I got turned. It was more. I was more shocked. Like, because yeah. I'd never yeah. seen that before. That there was people. just so many naked people. Like, before that. It's like, like all the guys I go in a couple, all the guys are like, fuck it, oh, this is fire, I'm down for this. And all the girls are like, oh my God, this is so <laughs> shocking. Like, <laughs> the thing is, it's the last floor in the hot tub. Oh! Was, it? Was, it, was it the first time we went? We only, well, we played with ourselves, didn't yeah. we? But we went down, you know, the dungeon bit? Yeah. Yes. So I was literally, I was just riding you. And I turned around and there was an old man just, watching he must have been about 60 and i looked back at ben and i was like ben, there's someone watching <laughs> and he was like yeah people do that here <laughs> and this blood going behind us is oh don't mind me love you keep going <laughs> like, i didn't Carry know on. how to feel <laughs> i was like he's literally this far away from us yeah then i was like that's the thing with single guys in clubs like they will hang around and like i think through their head the kind of expects you to i'm going i fancy you know a dick you, come here. Yeah. You, come here. <gasps> no. Yeah, but there's some never. people do, though. They do. Some people do, they don't do. they? Yeah. Oh, no. it, it's like 50-50 chance, so I don't blame them for just stunning stuff. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We still want a dick in your face, like, be like, hello, let me in. We had that at Penthouse, didn't we? Oh. He, he proper, because honestly. We were in a private room with another couple, and I'd shut the door, obviously that means, so for anyone who doesn't know, you close the door, people are very respectful at clubs and they don't come in, do they? No. So I shut the door and it was just us on our own, but it got hot in there. Like, quick ridiculous. Question, quick side question. Do you flop when you're hot? Yeah. Man, I go to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? I think every, every man does. Leave neck on you, not my back sometimes. Yeah. I thought that was just me at Vanilla. No. <laughs> I'm I'm if, I get, if I get dry mouth, if I'm hot, I'm just not in the game. I'm sorry. You don't. It's nothing to do with you guys. No. Yeah, it's hard just... for them though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I it think is. it is. We always have that conversation of how hard it is for you guys and then you're like, you're not supposed to tell yeah. them though. No, no, don't mention it. As soon as it's planted in the head, yeah. that's so, it. So since you're a penthouse, you close the door. So I closed the door, it got hot. So I had to open it because I could not function. Yeah. So I opened the door, obviously everyone comes in. Everyone was watching. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. So we carried on. And, he says um, we carried on. Can I just clarify? It was fully he was, in. He was fully in. I wasn't. I was pretty much just watching him because I, I had nothing else to do. Yeah. Um, so I would have happily have like just took someone else's dick. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll let you carry on the conversation. So some guy was like, oh, can I touch? And I was like, no. You know, because mm. to be fair. I'm thinking, he'd fucking yes, please. <laughs> Yeah, but he looked like some taxi driver and just rocked. I didn't outside. even look, but I was just sick of watching you having a great time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. the other person had signed out by then. I'm guessing. Pretty much, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, but yeah, so, I think yeah. that was another learning curve, though. Yeah. So th again, we were new to it then. Yeah. And you could clearly tell I wasn't having the best of times. Mm. 
and he was right next to me. He just kept pounding this girl, and I'm just thinking, oh, I didn't have the balls to say anything to him. Yeah, it's really hard to like so, pluck up the courage, isn't it, and kind of be like, right. Was yeah. it dark? Like, was it dark as well? It's kind no, of like, it was light, but it was I didn't. Light. I didn't want to let the other girl down as well. Like. Mm. It was really hard. It is. It's a it difficult is, situation. It is trying to like just <laughs> strategically tell that other person, like your husband, your partner. To that's be what like... we've got called words, right? I'm off to the bar for a lemonade. And to be honest, <laughs> in my that's situation, that's a perfect situation yeah. of using a code word where you don't want to be that person. Yeah. But having a code word and you say, I'm off to the, because obviously our old code word, because everybody knows it now, is that you used to be lemonade, but it feels like I'm off to the bar for a lemonade. I know, oh, wait a minute, there's something wrong. Yeah. yeah. In that sense. Yeah. Yeah. So we've we've learned, you know, but that's what it is, isn't it? This this whole journey has been a massive learning curve for us and we've grown our relationship has grown, like the trust, you know, the communication. Cause you have to, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, have you to talk, don't you? So how did you get to be on Open House? That's like I feel like that's the next question. Do you know what? That was, it was so random. It so it was, we had only been speaking about maybe trying things out for a month. Did you go to Vanilla Alternative and Penthouse before going on Open House or afterwards? We went to Vanilla, Vanilla. before. Oh, okay. Then Penthouse yeah. After. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'd only really spoken about it and then we'd done that obviously one trip to Vanilla. Um, we didn't do anything with anyone. It was just ourselves. Um, and then I just got a random message from whoever does the social media side asking if you want to be part of this program. And we weren't we we was we're up in, in Sunderland. Was it like oh it was no when I've got the initial message we were up in Sunderland at oh, the beach. Yeah. Mm. And I just turned around to Ben, I was like, you'll never guess what. I've just had a message asking if we want to go on this open house. It's about like open relationships. But how I don't get how they found me. Because we weren't even They're in the lifestyle. Sneaky fuckers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I didn't get it. They troll, oh, <clears throat> they troll yeah. social media. But the yeah. fact that you were talking about it as well, yeah. it was like came up at the perfect yeah. time. Like, hang on a like, minute, like this is how yeah. we're meant to be, really. But the way it? they do it is they'll find an influencer <clears throat> in that situation, in that um, industry, and then they'll go and see who's following them. Uh, yeah, because there's already an interest <laughs> there. So somebody could have gone through your following, Olivia, and gone, oh, they look all right. Let's let's. Ping on yeah, see if they're interested. Yeah. So you said to me about it, and I, and I said, <clears throat> we were at a point that week we were away. I was on the verge of leaving my job, wasn't I? It was that yeah. same week, wasn't it? Um, because we were doing well on oh, OS. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, so yeah, we, I said, just go for it, let's do it, and we were all in, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I remember the first time. You guys rocked up. Because the your first party at Open House, me and Olivia wasn't there. No, yeah. so we were like yeah. delayed by one day, or wasn't we? So yes. they all left and left us in the travel lodge for the next day and they'd all had their first social with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And we missed out on that because we were arriving the next day into the bunker bins and things. The amount, yeah. of, the amount of like shit, I won't say shit, but more banter because we turned up, <laughs> unpacked our stuff in our little bunker bin they were like, yeah, you're going to a party. And then that's that first time we got there. It was you guys. And we got yeah. pissed. I was like, oh, here we go. This is the wife of Gage coming in, taking everybody fucking out. <laughs> They've only just arrived. Oh, you know, we've been here like, for a night. Yeah. Do you know what's mad? Because obviously we'd been following you guys on TikTok and possibly Instagram before then. Yeah. So I felt like I knew you. Whereas you had never met us. So when I first saw you there, I was starting the back bit before coming out I was like oh, God, it's this the wife, wife. It's <laughs> the wife. but then I came to a realisation I was like hang on a minute they don't even know us yeah. <laughs> I was like I just felt like, like I know her yeah. and I was just yeah I shit myself for just just a small minute <laughs> I was like oh hang on they don't know us man but it's a scary yeah. process isn't it I think because mm. I think you'd agree it's like a bubble at open house and you're yeah. trying to so many different people and it must be so Nerve wracking for you guys to go, yeah, oh, we're into Gage and Olivia. And they're like, yeah, go ask them then. And it's like, I know, literally. Can you know, turn around and like, well, turn around and went, nah, you're all right, thanks. Like, <laughs> oh, and it's on oh, camera. So, it's on camera as well. Oh. Like, oh. And everyone's really watching. Like, everyone at the party, even though they're pretending to have their own conversations, everyone's earwigging yeah, as to what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. No, exactly. But there yeah. were definitely, as soon as we saw you, we were like, they're a bit of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Because like, hey. yeah. yeah. they put you right in the far corner. Like, they always fucking pretty did. much away they from always, everyone else. Yeah. They always did. So when we first walked in, you were all the way over there. But I clocked you straight away because obviously I'd, I'd followed you for a while and I was like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <gasps> they put us at the back all the time, didn't they? And the stopped us. seems to be in the car. And the stopped us going. Barking. And the stopped us going to like some parties. Yeah, because you just cleaned it up. Oh, just, just, just fucking every night. Like that. It was the Olivia and Gage show. We got, yeah. we got benched for like two days, didn't we? Yeah. We were like, we were, we were literally benched for two two days at one point, and we were like, well, that's not fair. <laughs> They're not like, they're like, guys, save some pussy for the rest yeah. of the <laughs> <laughs> But I liked how, when it came to edit, they put our episode at the end on a really good yeah. It was like a feel good moment. Yeah. I feel like, like we felt good about meeting you guys. Yeah. And you was like on this high about meeting us. And yeah. It was, it was a fantastic like, time. It was. It was successful. Yeah, I felt like, I felt like, even though we'd spoke to each other for only like literally two minutes, I felt there were a genuine connection yeah. there, wasn't there already? Yeah. yeah. The conversation was just, it was flowing so easily. And then mm. I feel like there was just, even in that short amount of space, there was just so many like similarities. And yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you just know, don't you, when you meet yeah. a couple, you just kind of just yeah. have that thing. And that's See? what I was saying to you on Open House. Like, what's really important for me is like me and you connect and yeah, have that. I was just know, about to say the, that. The, the, the trust and the respect for each other. Yeah. Um, and that's what I found in you guys. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That is important. Yeah. I think for guys, especially, you know, that was one thing when I when I came into this, I thought, you know, I've got to be able to get on with a guy mm. because that's, you know, you're letting another guy sleep with your partner. Mm. So you need to have that respect. Um, I've got a question for you and it might be it's probably going to be really really personal and if I cross any boundaries I'm sorry but do you always wear your socks while <laughs> Yes, you do. Yeah. What's the reason behind that? I don't know. Do you not like your feet or? No, I've got nice feet. The concert, I've got, got lovely nice feet. Toys. I've heard you don't catch feelings if you wear your socks. <laughs> Is this true? <laughs> it's... Maybe. Yeah. Are you sure the camera your feet? Because that's one thing. No, your actual toys. My actual feet. No, I've got. A... I won't give. There's gonna be some guys out there going to look and get their feet. No, it's just. Do you know what? It, I I don't know. I just don't. I don't like taking them off. Like if. Because it's, it's, it's something yeah. everyone takes the piss out of now. It's like my thing now. It's, just, yeah. I, it's, it's my thing. So yeah. I, I, I do keep my socks on. You're just owning it yeah. now. Like, yeah. You, you can't. You can't. I bet they call him Ben the Sock. That's, you know, <laughs> it's like a mafia name. <laughs> ben the Sock. But why don't Ben the Sock and no he one does. knows why? Honestly, even when we do content, I'll he will, like, in the, in the truck, he will just, like, he'll keep his socks on and he will just pull joggers down. And I'm like, can you just get naked? Yeah. Like, Get your socks off at least. Because it did a, a proper like a good five seconds of your My feet. Eighty hour our episode. They're and your feet socks. like giving it like that. Oh, Livy's riding you. Yeah, yeah. They look good, like fresh white socks and fresh that. White socks. <laughs> but I've noticed that you do always wear your socks. Yeah, in like, all in all our content, you'll notice that I have my socks on. Mate, keep it. Trade and market. do you know what? I actually watched a podcast with Kieran Lee, and he said one of his secrets to keeping it up. Is keeping his socks on. Do you know what? <laughs> all right, all right. Nah, there's there's method of the madness there because when my toes get cold, yeah. I've noticed blood rushes to my toes and not my cock. Yeah. So keep maybe that's so you're, you're gonna have to keep your socks on. Now. I might yeah, keep yeah. my socks on. But then, yeah, but go. then, in that like, if you do get hot, that is the first thing that I take off is my socks if I get hot. Yeah. So yeah. when you get hot, maybe it's. Because you've got your socks I think more guys need to wear the socks in bed because I've seen some fear in my time. Like, you know, when like, people walk in bed <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh, he looks like a gremlin on his yeah, fucking... Yeah. It's when you walk back. You, you're especially bad. You don't take your sliders or anything or flip-flops to clubs. Nah, bro, don't that you fucking floor, floor, don't, you're like walking <laughs> around the club with your bare feet and it's like... Yeah, oh. but do you know what looks really weird? When boxer shorts and shiny, like business shoes yeah. <laughs> I'll fucking yeah, yeah. creep would you look like that is weird like wearing proper shoes <laughs> yeah fuck that Ben cowboy, cowboy boots, boots. <laughs> yeah. box shots and cowboy boots Mate, oh, that, but, that, that weekend it's how you take it I was going to say yeah, that's, that's better than like tiny whiteys and cowboy boots yeah mm. yeah tiny whiteys not boxers from oh, the girls what, like my view. friends yeah, yeah. oh no, no. I have to wear what I don't know if you know, but I'm getting a vasectomy in January and I will bring up every podcast just to let you know. Um, but I have to wear Y fronts. 
for, oh, yeah. for about four. This, the procedure's that severe. Um, I'm going to be out of action for about eight weeks in a wheelchair. Eight, eight weeks So I imagine Martin's had this done, right? I was, did he survive? He's, he's all right. He's not the same guy anymore. Is he not? He's not quite the same man. Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. But Ginger's actually opted in to the one that he actually has to be put to sleep. <laughs> oh, I would as well. I ain't I staying would. awake for shit. Well, I've got... Right, so I'm going to go through the NHS, but because of the climate of the NHS, it's not so good. I've been waiting two, two and a half years. So I thought I'll just go private. So I paid 180 quid for four minutes of this doctor's time, right? Oh and God. he was, he basically asked, he would not like not in fucking uh, notes down. And he went, right, what do you want? I said, look, I'm here for a said to me. He went, that's cool. He goes, do you know what the procedure involves? I went, yeah, you kind of, you know, just get the, the tubes out and you burn them. And he's like, yeah. He goes, I need to ask you a few questions though. And he's like, you're happily married? I was like, no. Nah. And he was like, that's fine. He went, do you want any more kids? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, cool, we'll get it booked in then. Right? So then, I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you. Like, like, no, no, exactly. I'm, I'm happily married. And I was like, yeah. He goes, do you want any more kids? I was like, nah, nah. And what they do is, I thought they'd cut like, your ball sack open and like plop a testicle and put it on you like for safekeeping and then no. do all the tubes. It's only two small cuts. Isn't it? And it's like it, a whole little hole. It's not even that. And then they get the tube out and then they chop it and then burn either end off. Right. But do you know what he said? He goes, it can reconnect. He goes, your body does this thing where if it actually comes close together, it'll reconnect and heal itself. Oh. How so mad is could, that? You could go through all this. And you could end up... And you could end up still needing another one. Daddy Gage could come back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> Daddy God. Gage. That is... Do you know what? It's, it's one thing that I don't think I could ever get done because I don't even like... Like, if a girl goes down on me, I hate having my balls played with. Mate, yeah, mate, mate, can we it. talk about this? Can I we hate t- it. Ben, can we... T- Sorry, girls, just two seconds. <laughs> do, do girls think that... Like, sucking the testicle... It's like not that. good. It's not, not that nice. It's all connected. Like, lick it and like kiss a little, it. Little, no, but like a lick. Yeah, lick it. Maybe a lick, but... like you your asshole being licked? If someone puts my balls in their mouth, I feel so vulnerable. Like, they can just bite them off. And I'll just, nah, get it's, them out of your mouth. It's like when they put the full test in your mouth and they're pulled down. Yeah. It. And it's like, it is connected. Oh, I don't do that. No. Uh, you do, you just don't play with them anymore because you know. <laughs> You've got to flick, them on, the, on. flick them on the I end. I like how Ben, like, swerved that, like, other question, though. Do you oh, like yeah, your ben, asshole being licked? Do you like your asshole being licked? No, I don't. Man, I would never to... lick an asshole. She wouldn't lick an asshole. Do I wouldn't not... lick an asshole. <laughs> I wouldn't lick a man's asshole. You're a freak. Do you lick a man's like asshole? An she loves it. Yeah. She, so she's got her... Like she's licking assholes. So listen, like listen, 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 listen. She's got the nickname, the asshole creeper. Right? <laughs> <laughs> because no. she'll always navigate to an asshole at some point. You've never, been like, you've never been near mine. No. Is this something... That asshole that creeper, you don't know it's coming back. <laughs> to be fair, it's if you guys, like the only guy I've asshole. licked is yours, unless somebody's asked for it. I no. suppose. Breach. But then, when you're in like a threesome, maybe with another girl, or a, and you just want to get in there, and you're like fucking them, and I'm like, and she's the, on only, the only thing is available is their asshole. Yeah. So like, really? See, I wouldn't mind licking a girl's asshole. I feel, I feel yeah, like girls are cleaner. Are yeah. Men's are hairy, and I'm put my. Oh, right I should. Sure, I'm quite considerate, you know, to my asshole. I might lick your ass then. Uh, Who knows? But can I just say, I never. Ryan? What? <laughs> I've never ever had anyone lick my arsehole until you. <laughs> yes. oh, okay. I was, all oh, right. So yes. you're an asshole for your first man to lick Chuck about his arsehole. Honestly, I was, I was really taken back. I didn't know how to feel about it. How did you feel about it? At the same time, it's I was hot, like, right? it's really good. It's hot, right? Just give it a chance. And this was on Open House. Were it? <laughs> yeah. What was it? Yeah, because oh, right. I didn't... I didn't because I, I've got this signature move, right, where if you're on the end of the bed and I'm on my knees, that's I'll exactly rock you the back. position. You're like, <laughs> 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 that was exactly it. That's it. And I was like, oh my god, he's gone for the bum hole. <laughs> and I kept going. I'm not too like, sure. I'm not too yeah. sure. But oh, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. You've got to find your asshole lead at some point in your life. I'm sorry, but you do. Mm. You're from like asshole to minge, like the whole it's thing. It's seamless, isn't it? I might yeah. trademark it. 
That's it. It's how good it is. That's the gauge move. That's the, the gauge move. That's the gauge move. <laughs> yeah. So what's gauge. less about assholes? <laughs> <laughs> what's in the pipeline for you guys in the future? Are you carrying on doing OnlyFans? Are you going to try get on more TV shows? Fame and fortune. Um, to be honest, the TV shows. I personally, I'm not. I'm not that fussed about doing them anymore. What? I think. If we got asked to do the whole resident thing for Open House, I'd well be up for that. Yeah. But it just again, it just depends what it is. I don't want to be going doing TV shows that we've got no interest in just to be on TV. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's not really us. But. But you um, could eventually have your own TV show if you're trucking. <gasps> yeah. Do you know what? It's not about spin up, is it? Yeah. If, if we if we got approached for TV around the trucking side, I, I'd actually be more than happy to do that. Do you know what I'd do it about, though? I'd have it more female orientated. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck you, I, Ben. <laughs> I, like, only because I've always wanted to show women that they can they can do any job, no matter how masculine that job might look or Are be. Females can do it too, and sometimes we can do it better. Mm. But... She can back a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> you brought that back. back <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I'm well good at backing trailers. <laughs> yeah. So I used to um, I used to drive trucks in the army as well. Oh, did you? I, I, I've, got, I've got a full license, coats and trucks and stuff like that. Um, and like these 15 tonners and stuff. Everything. I'll show you my driving license. <laughs> like, you know, I'll have some surprises, you know. I'll we'll have to get you on the YouTube one day. One on day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you start this fucking thing? <laughs> Please get you in a truck. When was the last time you drove a truck, Gage? Oh. He's like bringing it up. He's like, I can drive everything. When was the last time you drove anything bigger than a car? Are you wanting a fight? Why are you calling me out for that? We were going to turn up in the lorry, you know. That would be quite That would be quite funny. <laughs> I did, did cross my mind. Did it? Yeah. But then we but thought, thought you might be in a seven and a half ton limit zone. Yeah. <laughs> that would be quite funny, to be fair. Next time, next time. The reverse of the truck of a trailer is fucking complicated because you have to do the opposite of where you want the trailer to go, right? My brain's yeah. on earth like yeah. that. Half past the test, I don't know. Do you it's know good. when you get used to driving an Arctic, like reversing an Arctic? So... I've driven Arctics for about six years now, and only a couple of months ago, they put me in a rigid lorry, and I shit myself. Like, yeah. I had to go to this place, back this rigid lorry onto a bay, and it you think, like, you just do the same as you're driving a car, but when you're looking behind you and you, you know you're in a lorry, your brain can't... Yeah, it's it, weird. You, isn't you it? can't. I could not back that rigid lorry onto this bay to save my life. I had some man helping me. Yeah. Olivia, Olivia, I was just like, like, oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this does not turn you on, Olivia. No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, truck. Would you get? Would you have sex in a truck or? Hey. We well, got two beds in our truck. Hey. Two. We got bunk beds. Have you? Yeah. What's the name of your haulage firm? Oh, we're not saying that. Truck class haulage. Truck class haulage. Yeah, we're on Instagram. So truck that's what you're concentrating on: your YouTube, your trucking. Yeah, your... and we're still, you know, yeah, OF. OF. Yeah. We've still got yeah. that going, but I just think only fans we see is that having. It's got a lifespan, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's got an expiry yeah. date. It's so... whether you want to as well. Like you've got a option now if yeah. you want to leave it you yeah. can because you've then concentrate on something else now. yeah i that's think that was exactly the whole it. idea because we obviously we're both into trucks we're both truck drivers so if we ever got to that point where we didn't want to do only fans anymore i the last thing i wanted to do was have to go back to work for someone else so yeah. this is Do you why I'm doing a nine to five now. Oh no, God, no. It's mad when you think about it, isn't it? Like I couldn't imagine. Gives me nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Doing that again. I did say that to you the other day. I was like, "Would you ever go back in the army?" It's like, "Fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> Could you go back? No. Nah. No. Nah. It's shit, buddy. Man. You get treated like shit. <laughs> when you when you look back at it now, I'm like, "What the fuck were I to do in my life? I wish I'd done something." Do you know what? Getting screamed at by fucking higher ranks. I take it back. Because <laughs> it's good in the terms of I Social. joined when I was sixteen. I joined when I was sixteen, and I yeah. think it teaches the right things, to kind of set you up. But but it doesn't. I, so I think, and I'm not not speaking for everyone, but I think a lot of people will leave the army and they don't have the necessary life skills because in the army you get everything, a lot of things done for you, don't you? Yeah, like your house. 
is it, all your bills. Yeah, but you're in a bubble like, as well. Yeah, it's like a bubble. Yeah. So when you come out, it's not like the real world. You don't, like, get, it, you don't get given like, like yeah. life skills and things like that, and everybody seems to be fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, honestly, yeah. Really well. I remember when I used to work um, in a call centre selling fuel cards, and I got told off for telling the joke. It was a bit dark. Don't get me wrong. But in the <laughs> army, it, it had flown quite well. Probably got me promoted. But you know, <laughs> in this call centre, it was. What was the joke? It was. I can't say. It. You can't say. It. <laughs> it. But you know, it's kind of that sort of stuff where you have to adjust. And I was out for two. I joined. The, I think I did five, left for two, and then did six um, up here uh, in Lincoln. And I think I was more ready to come out when I... Yeah. In about two, two years ago, wasn't it? So yeah. was you two together the whole time you was in the army? Yeah. So Wait, did you ever leave Olivia for like the months on end? Went to Belize, didn't I? Did a bit of, bit of jungle fighting with... Monkeys and snakes and stuff, and <laughs> you did oh, juggle. It was, it was an holiday. It was an holiday. It was, like, it it was, was an holiday. holiday. You're like, Liv, I've got this opportunity to go to Belize, jungle warfare training. I'll get extra money, so I'll get to pay off some credit cards. And I'm like, lost in the casino. Yeah, you came back with more debt than you left oh. with. Oh, <laughs> dear. Nicely done. Hey, typical swallow, though, isn't it? Typical swallow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, ben, always kept my socks on, regardless. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But guys, thank you so much for watching this podcast. Um, please follow us on Instagram at Swing Up and on Twitter at Swing Hub. But not actually at Swing Hub on Instagram. No, we're at Swing, Swing Hub app. Swing on Instagram app. and Swing Hub on Twitter. Um, what's your Instagram, guys? Trucker Buddy. So, Trucker Buddy 94 on Instagram. Trucker Buddy on YouTube. And then we've also got the Nicole and Ben on Instagram. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye. I've got us all a scratch card each. I thought we did scratch. Let's do it. All right, we'll do it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, Guys, if you're just watching this, we did wrap it up, and uh, we've got to do some stuff. Ah. Um. So you brought us a gift. Just a small just one. A, just a fun little A fun thing. little one. Fun little right, one. is there any rules to this? Is there any rules to this? So, for all the audio listeners, Ben and Nicole have brought us scratch cards. How much is the pound ones off? No, two pound two ones. Pound Shit, we can win some big money. Yeah. 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 Have we got any pennies? Do you, Do you know, know what it is? I felt lucky all oh, week, no. and I thought, I want to share that look with Gage and Olivia. Oh, Can you I've got any coins because it's going to be But if you win, Right, if we win, we're splitting it four ways. Is that right? Yeah. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. No. Are we saying that? Are saying that? If we 250 grand and be like, slide it into his pocket and going, nah, I'm all right. Olivia, go on, you can pick first. Thank you. Go on, Gage. Oh, pick a winner. You can right. win 120 grand richer. Okay, here we go. I tried to pick quick ones. Because some of them can be quite complicated. Got, you know, none of us are going to win here. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that you can't dump balls. This is just uh, just in case. So, hey, Ben, it's not a king size. Easier to get on. Man, they've, they've changed my life, man. <laughs> I'll have to get on it. It's, it's Do you think I'm worthy of a king size? You are, man. You are. <laughs> Right, you can have a number ball. I've got, I've I've got, got, I've got, a, got a You've got, I've a, got key. a key. Wherever this key's from, I have no yeah, idea. Here, yeah, Nicole, you can have a number ball. I'll use it, nut. You've got a coin. There you go, you set my I've got, I've got one of your old earrings in here. Do you want to use that? <laughs> oh, look what else I have, actually. Oh, I've got another, I've got another bolt as well. Here we go, two bolts. Two bolts and a nut and a 20p. Right, we're on a win. Yeah. <gasps> Have you brought us a gift? Bigger, Bigger stickers. stickers. All right. Oh, got a sticker. <laughs> hey. Oh, right. Sticker. Oh, I'm going to let you place that somewhere oh. on our shelf. Ooh. Oh, I can't do that. Your shelf's so nice. Where are you putting it? I can't put it on your mm. shelf. Oh, so, uh, I think. Can I put it here? Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Look. That's there we go. I'm going to pull out my car. You're praying on the car. I just thought, right. we're doing these scratch cards, so game we've got, one. We can win 120,000, right? Game one, here we go, right? So let's talk the audio listeners through it because I've got um, a clean bottle. I've, I've got, got a boot. I've got a plant. I've and, got uh, a clover. And I didn't win on that one. So you have to win, match the winning symbol to any of your symbols to win a prize. No. Uh, Do you know what my problem is? Um, I, I don't, don't read them. No. <laughs> and then it's game two. 
is winning symbol, your symbols. Oh, so they're the same, the same. I don't like them really complicated scratch cards. No, that's why I've got easy ones. What's going on here? Nope. So I've got a glove. Oh. No. 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 Game. Game. Oh, my God. Three. Someone's got to win. Come on, even a pound, guys. Joking. <laughs> oh, I'm on game four. No way. <laughs> well, this is a fucking scam. I'm not being funny, but you. I'm not being funny, but you come on our podcast. We invite you on. You oh, this fucking no. scammy scratch cards. No. Did you win? Did win? I didn't win anything. I don't think. No. Do you know what um, a man with, a, with a, a good mindset would do right now? We've gone. I've won more. thirty pounds. No, no you, you have not. I'm in. We have got a present for oh. you. Yeah, and this is a um... you guys. So this is from Love Honey. What? Wow. So I was thinking with my partnership with Love Honey. Thank you, Love Honey. You're the best. And um, <laughs> this is for you guys as a token of gesture for oh, coming well, on thank to you the very podcast. Much. And thank from you. Love Honey as well. So wow, they are having an advent calendar from us guys. <laughs> it's an advent calendar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 wow. What do you think it was? Like a 12 inch deal though? It's probably got Oh one my in there. God. Jesus. Look at this. <laughs> So you've that got a tie each day. Livia, in her last calendar, got this paddle that she's obsessed with. And she oh, likes I've got a little paddle. It. And I've got the best mini mini vibrator ever. Like you take it to work? I take it to work. Yeah, I take yeah. it to work. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a oh, wow. in seconds. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So oh, this I, is the I'm best thing excited ever. to see the, what's in there. The question is, is are you going to be like a kid of Christmas and open them all up at once? Or are you going to actually do no, it again? No, I'm actually very regimented. Yeah? Day by day. Day by day. That's it. I might I might vlog it on my um Yeah. Just on Instagram story every day and tag you with see it. What it see is. What make sure you tag Love Funny as well and just make sure. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Funny, it was so. part of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome, guys. Well, right, so fun. we're actually going now, aren't yeah. we? We're actually leaving you all guys. We're we doing one more plug. <laughs> we're doing one more plug. We don't need to do another plug. But guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this podcast and yeah. Peace. Peace. Ooh. <laughs>